Okay, today we're going to go ahead and talk about conditional formatting. You might ask, what is conditional formatting? Okay, basically what conditional formatting is, is if a certain group of cells or the value of, this, of a group of cells meets a certain criteria, you the, the size and shape of the font and style of the font will also change as well. So you might ask, what is conditional formatting used for? Let's say, for example, let's pretend like this is a really, really, really large spreadsheet and you had a bunch of numbers. And what if you want to pick out whether something's doing really good or really bad? And you don't want to have to look through every single number. You want something to actually catch your eye. So when you do conditional formatting, if it meets a certain value that, or is greater than a value or less than a value, it'll actually change, you can actually change the appearance and style of your font. Okay? So basically what we're going to do at this point is we're going to highlight our group of cells that we want to do conditional formatting on. So I'm going to highlight a group of cells and I'm going to go up here to conditional formatting. I have this sort of sm smaller, if you, if you actually maximize the screen it's going to look a, bit, a little bit differently. But it's easier for me to work with this not quite maximized because I have a certain window, graphics window to work with. So let me go back to where I was. Okay. So you're going to go to conditional formatting, and you're always going to go to the highlight cell rules. And the better thing is it gives you options greater than, less than, between, equal to, etc. I'm going to go ahead and go to more rules. It makes it a little bit easier to understand. It actually has a preset format for one of the cells that contain. Leave it where it's at. And in this case, let's say, for example, that we want to have uh, format cells at a value greater than 75 bucks, for example. Okay. At this point, we need to go set the format for the font. And what I probably will do is I will make it bold. And what usually means positive? Usually green means positive, I believe. So I'll make it a nice bright green. Maybe I'll make it, uh, we'll make it bigger. I'll just see what the way it is. Click OK. Gives you a sample of what it's going to look like. Click OK. And notice we now have green with anything greater than 75 bucks. On the reverse side, we can also create another rule by highlighting the same area of cells. Ah, sorry. Highlighting the same area of cells and going back to conditional formatting. So once again, highlight cell rules, more rules, and same thing, except this time it'll be less than, let's say, something less than 25 bucks, or let's say $20, okay? So anything less than $20, we'd now set a format for that. And what do we usually come up? with when you think of something bad. Usually you think of red. So you click on red, gives you your preview there, clicks OK, gives you your preview, and click OK, and now so we notice one thing that has uh, less than 20 bucks. We have version worse at 7, it shows up red, we have the green. We can change this value, for example, it can change this value and actually changes to 19, and watch what happens, it now turns red. So that's an example of conditional format, and you use it when you want things to really stick out at you, um, anything like that. So go ahead and practice that, and uh, the next video I'll do, hopefully I'll have it on today, will actually be dealing with uh, doing a manual, for manual formulas, actually inserting your own formulas into the Excel spreadsheets. Bye-bye.